Hey guys, welcome back to my series Going Remote. Happy Sunday, I hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Instagram stories. This is going to be more of a beginner tutorial. So if you've been watching everyone's Instagram stories and wondering how the heck they got them so cute, this video is going to be helpful for you. And if you are a more advanced user, I think there will be some tricks in here that you might not know. Instagram stories are so much fun and a fantastic way for you to connect with your audience. So I'm excited to share this with you. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is check for updates. Instagram is always updating and adding new features. So it's likely that there will be even more in just a week from now. So click on the app store, then click on your profile picture and check if there's an update you need to make. All right, so I'm going to open up Instagram and dive into the training right now. Okay, so first we're going to open it up. Then to create an Instagram story, you're going to click on the little camera icon top left of your screen. Okay, so now this has opened up our stories and I can go ahead and create one. So you have two options when it comes to Instagram stories. You can simply take a picture or you can take videos as well. If I wanna take a picture, I'm just going to click on the center icon there, the center circle and that will take a photo. Or if I wanna take a video, I'm just going to hold it down. And here is my awesome video. <laughs> okay, so we have those two options. Now I have the camera facing towards me. If I wanted to change that, I could just click the little arrows at the bottom right of my screen, and that's going to flip over and then display outwards. <laughs> There's definitely a better word for that. Okay, so that is how you take a photo and how you take a video, but there's a whole lot more within Instagram that you can do. So let's start with the basics. Let's say I've taken a photo, but then I want to add to that. I can click on this little smiley face sticker looking icon over here, and it's going to bring up a ton of options that I can customize my story with. So first we have location, I could go ahead and type in where I'm at. And anytime you add an element to your story, you can simply click on it and drag it around to move it into position. Okay, so that's location. Let's click on the sticker again. You can mention other people. So I could mention any of my friends. Let's mention Cammie, hey Cammie. <laughs> and let's click on the sticker again. So we've mentioned friends, and if someone were to click on Cammie's name here, it will actually go to her profile. Okay, let's click on the sticker again. Next we have hashtag, if you wanted to add a hashtag to your story. And then next is a really fun one. So this is gifts. If you've been wondering, how does everybody get those cute animated icons on their story? This is how they are doing it. So if you click on GIF, you'll see a ton of fun options appear. And you can actually use the search bar up at the top to look for what you want. So for example, let's say I wanna do one about work. I can just type in work. And then I'm gonna get all these cute GIFs that I can add to my stories. Okay, so really, this selection is endless here. So let's click on this one here, and then I can drag it around simply by clicking on it. And then I can increase the size by kind of pinching outwards. So I'm putting both of my thumbs on the screen and moving it outwards, and that's increasing the size. Okay, awesome. So that looks great, so definitely experiment, have fun with that, and add as many gifts as you would like. So there's really no limit here. You know, I'm going, I'm going a little crazy on, uh, on the gifts here. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, you can definitely have fun with decorating. Now, one thing you might want to know as well is that you can add filters to your images or your videos, okay? So what I'm showing you now applies for both photos like this as well as if we created a video. In order to add those filters, all I need to do is swipe over to the right. So I'm gonna swipe to the right, and as you can see, that has just added a filter. So we have the Paris filter, Oslo, and honestly, it goes on and on, and you have tons of different filters that you can choose from. 
Another common one that I use is music. So this one is really fun. Generally, when you're doing a video, you can click on music and you'll see all these different songs that you can add to your stories. So I'll actually come back to this one and demo when we have a video. Then you can poll your audience and ask them a yes or no question. Okay, and at any point, if you want to remove one of these story elements, you can simply click on it, drag it down to the bottom middle of your screen and a little trash can icon will appear and you can drop it in there. Okay, so we've gone ahead and done that. You know how to add a poll. You can ask your audience a question. So what's your fave? Um, <laughs> food on my mind. Okay, so you can ask them a question and they'll be able to come in here and add an answer there. And then finally, I wanted to show you the countdown. So you can actually create a countdown for any important event coming up. So you would just name the countdown, for example, time until drops. Okay. And then I just click on the timer here and I can set the date where it's going to happen. Okay, and then I can hit done. And if I actually click on it and then click this color wheel at the top here, I can change the color of that countdown. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of different elements that we can add to our Instagram stories. All right, so a few more features that I want to show you. If you click over here on this icon there, this is going to allow you to write on top of your story. So I can choose a color from down below. Let's say I just want to go with white and now I can simply draw on my screen. So for example, I'm just going to write hi. Okay, cool. So you can click undo at the top to remove this. So we have a thinner looking pencil. Then if I hit the arrow up top here, it's going to add an arrow at the end of my text. Then we have this one here, which is more thicker looking like that. Then we have this one here, which is more of like a neon type look. Oh, I do like that one. Okay, then at any point, if you want to delete your text, you can click this icon over here to the right. You can make it bigger by going over here to the side and dragging this up. And then you can simply go over it to delete that text. Okay, awesome. So that's how people are decorating it with their own handwriting. Then if you click on the A's here, top right, you can actually type in content. So I'm going to say, Hey, just making a video. <laughs> okay. So I've typed that in and then you'll see, I have a lot of options in terms of fonts, alignment, colors, all sorts of things. So this is on strong at the moment, but if I tap the top here, you'll see that I can change that to lots of different font types. Okay. And if I click on a color down here, I can change the color of my text. Okay. Or I can click on that and then I can hit the a at the top here and that will add a background color. So that's mostly how I'm doing my text. I find it easiest to see. So yeah, you can do that and you can add as much text as you want. So let me add more text here. Let's do that one in a different color. Awesome. So yeah, that's mostly how I'm doing my text. Okay, awesome. So let's create a video and then do our music. So I have it towards me now. Um, I don't know what to do. This is more difficult than it looks. Okay, so I'm going to hold it down and I'm just going to create a video right now of me talking about something important. Okay, so we have our video there. And I'm just going to You'll be able to hear it. Right okay, now, so I'm going to temporarily yeah. mute myself with that icon there. Then I'm going to click on my sticker, go over to music, and then you can actually go browse and it will show you, you know, okay, this is a funny category right now, 20 second hand washing songs, very important. It'll also show you, you know, weekend, pop, sentimental, different um, categories for sure. So I'm going to go with Dance a Monkey because it's an upbeat song. Click on that. And then there are many different ways where we can display the music. So these first four are going to display the lyrics on screen, or you can just kind of display the artwork for the song. Okay. So let's go with this one here. Hit done. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Your they say, oh my God, okay, cool. So you get the idea. 
that is how people are adding music to their stories. Okay, awesome. So now a super popular thing to do as well is to add boomerang. So let's show you how to create that. <laughs> I'm gonna X out of that and this time I'm going to face it towards me and I'm gonna go down here to the bottom where it says boomerang. So boomerang is basically like a little moving gif of yourself, I guess you could say. So you're gonna make sure you're on boomerang and then you just hold this down and you're gonna do like a little short movement. Like I'm gonna do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And it's just going to repeat a bunch like that. But these are fun and they actually come in handy a lot. So that is how you create a boomerang. Same rules apply where you can add everything that I just showed you onto this boomerang. So for example, I can swipe over to the right to add a filter. I can click on the sticker icon, go over to GIFs, and then I can go ahead and add a GIF sticker to my story. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So you now know how to create Instagram stories and boomerangs. What else? Honestly, Instagram is one of those apps where there's just so many different things you can do. So just have fun with it, click around and see what it creates for you. So you'll see down here at the bottom. Now, if I, let's just go back to, actually we'll keep doing a boomerang. So now if I swipe over to the right, you'll see all these different built-in filters as well. So we have ones like that and like this. Honestly, they vary so much and some are just super crazy. Others are cute. Some are just crazy. So you'll see a few over here to the left, which are ones that I like and have saved. So I like this one here. I like this one. And I wanted to show you like ones that are just straight up crazy like this one, the dragon. You never know, you know? You just like need this in, in your story. <laughs> so if you're ever seeing crazy filters like this, um, this is how you access them. So at any point, you can click right here on this bottom arrow, and then you can actually click Browse Effects, and this is going to pull up a ton of different effects for you that you can check out and try out. Okay, so let's say that you find one that you like. You're just going to click on it and then you're going to click try it. And that's going to load. Hmm. So you can see what you would look like with freckles. <laughs> okay, so let's say you try it and you really like it. Click on the arrow down here and then just click save effect and that's going to add it over to the left when you go into your story. So let's open up a new story. So now when I swipe over to the left, I'll see that effect saved right there. Okay, so that's how to create Instagram stories in real time. I also wanna show you that you can upload any photos or videos that you've already taken to your camera roll. So let's create a new Instagram story. Okay, now if I swipe up from the bottom, you'll see all my different photos that I've taken. I can just click on that and I can create a story out of that as well. So that's a little um, funny meme about this time that I had taken. I have some stickers, um, different graphics. So yeah, any video that is actually on your camera roll, you can actually upload as well, right? So same rules apply in terms of customizing it, but yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, so now I wanted to share with you two more pro tips on how to up your game with Instagram stories. The first is to create backgrounds in your brand colors and upload those. So I'm gonna click on the camera icon, swipe up from the bottom. You'll see here that I've uploaded my brand colors just as plain PNG tiles. So this is something I would do in Canva. You can check out my video from yesterday on how to do that. I'd create just a plain background, download it as a PNG, get it over to my phone and then upload it. Okay, so for example, here's my yellow. I can remove this date right here by putting the trash can. And then I can go ahead and create a story with that custom yellow background. And then I wanted to show you that you can actually add images on top of images. So this can really come in handy for a business. So for example, in my camera roll, you'll see that I have the logo for my Asana course. So I have the logo here and this is a PNG file. Okay, cool, so you can see that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this icon bottom left, then I'm gonna click copy photo. 
Then I'm going to go back into Instagram, gonna open up Instagram, and it's going to come up as a sticker. So now all I have to do is click add sticker to add that to my designs, and I can go ahead and move that around. So yeah, that is how you create awesome Instagram stories. You can do this from no matter where you're at, have fun with this, get creative. You can really share behind the scenes look at your business and your life and connect with others online. All right guys, that's it for my beginner Instagram stories tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments below. And if you think that others will benefit from this video, please share it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another going remote video.